Here's how to set up a PS5 or PS4 controller on Minecraft Bedrock on PC, super easy. Let's go. Now first, click on the second link in the description that'll bring you over here, where we're going to download the drivers for our controller to work with our game. Once you're over here, click on download. That will redirect you over here, where we're going to scroll down one more time and download. Now the download should be in right away. If you want to find that file, head over to your recent download history or your downloads folder in your PC and just drag and drop it into your desktop. With this file in your desktop, it's a zip file. We're going to need to unzip it. Just right click on it and hit extract all. And if you're in an older Windows, you could just download 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it. Now go ahead and extract this file and you should get a folder containing the software that we're about to use, right? The DS4 Windows folder. Now close this folder and delete the zip file. We don't need that anymore. And now go ahead and open this folder one more time. Open this other folder here and you should see the DS4 Windows.exe file right here. Now double click on it. And if it gives you this prompting here, just go ahead and go through it. I'm going to go ahead and install to update my .NET application. Just click in there. That'll redirect you right here where the download will begin right away to to update.net and once it downloads just open it right away to update.net on your computer just hit installing here you might get a little administrator prompt just allow it to run and then the .net application should be installed in no time and once .net has installed come back into the ds4 windows folder and run your ds windows.exe one more time now in here you want to choose where your app is going to save your profiles where it's going to save your controller settings i'm going to choose program folder but you could also use app data now once you choose a folder it's going to put you over here where you want to select which type of controller you're running you have ds4 device support which is for ps4 controllers and you also have the device support for dualsense which is ps5 controllers i'm gonna be using the ps5 one so i'm gonna select this one and i'm gonna check this one but select the one that is right for you and then once you're done hit on close now once you hit close you might get an admin prompt just go ahead and allow it to run and then it's gonna put you right here where you want to hit a step one just install the drivers on a step one it's gonna open this menu in here just go ahead and go through it if you agree to the license terms and conditions you could read about them in here and if you agree hit next one more time and then hit install and wait for this to install once the installation is done click on finish and now you could close this little prompt in here because we're not going to be using it anymore just close it and now we need to add our controller into our computer now guys here is my ps5 controller and in this video i'm going to be using the cable connection but you're also able to connect this through bluetooth now if you want to connect it through bluetooth you're going to have to put your controller on pairing mode for that you have to hold down your share button as well as your ps button at the same time and then your controller will enter pairing mode it will start flashing and this is true for ps5 and ps4 controllers there you go and once it's flashing on your pc you have over to search you type in bluetooth down here and then open bluetooth and other device settings and then in here you could click add device and then just choose the one that is right for your controller sometimes you'll find it under bluetooth and sometimes you'll find it under everything else and then just pair it in there now since i don't want any input lag i'm gonna be using a cable so i'm gonna connect my type c cable right here and then i'm gonna connect the other end of my controller into the computer now once your device is connected you want to turn it on and now you want to head over to this app in here the one that we have opened with ds4 windows and you want to hit start now your pc should pick up your controller and a lot of the times if it's not picking it up it's because you're using the wrong usb cable it doesn't have enough power for your controller to be connected to your pc once your controller is picked up in here now you could just open your minecraft bedrock and start enjoying the game using a controller as you can see here the controller is working without any issues as it should be anyways guys that is being it if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time